But you know about retro ghetto Collecting and playing retro Lock into the retro ghetto oh. Hi everybody, welcome back to the retro ghetto And yet another backdrop This is the last time you're going to see a makeshift backdrop Here in the retro ghetto 3.0 I've been working very hard on a very special project that will ultimately become the backdrop for my future videos. I'm going to be putting a video of the 3.0 update out and I can't wait to share it with you guys. That's coming Wednesday, so don't miss that. Wednesday, 3.45 at GMT. However, today's video, I wanted to do another CEX lottery video. The one we did last week was just supposed to be a bit of a tester, really, um, for the room, the audio, the lighting, that kind of thing. But you guys seem to really enjoy it. And I was really interested in the debate that happened within the comment section about what people find acceptable or not acceptable in terms of condition of video games that you have arrived and whether you would or wouldn't have sent it back or added it to your collection. So we're going to be doing it again. I've had another game arrive that I'm eagerly uh, awaiting opening. So I've had it again sitting here for a couple of days now. It's again another one that I've had on the saved CEX alerts for a long time. So again, I'm hoping this hasn't been around and around in collector's hands. It's one that doesn't come up too often. And as you can see on the screen, this was the game that we unboxed last week. So if you're interested in checking out last week's CEX Lottery, I'll put a link in the description below. Before we get into the unboxing, I just want to say there is a rather crudely made envelope here. This mystery envelope, which we might have to pull out later in the episode. Retro ghetto. Right, so it's a bigger box than last week. Um, hopefully that means it's well packaged, because I'm going to tell you straight away, this is Nintendo Cardboard. So I'm glad to see this big box. Hopefully that means there's a lot of protective wrapping here to protect what is hopefully nice condition Nintendo cardboard, but yeah, let's get into it and have a look. Again, the same wrap. Rob Quick in the comments will be telling everybody what kind of wrap that is, the packaging expert. Uh, right, let's see if there's any receipt or anything in here I need to get rid of. Yeah. Okay, so this game cost £52. Um, box game. £52. Let's take a look, shall we? There's a lot of wrap. It's anticipation. That's why I love doing this. Right. We happy? Vincent? We happy? Yeah, we happy. First thoughts, very, very happy. This looks in really nice condition. This is Tom and Jerry on the Super Nintendo. Uh, Tom and Jerry is a 1993 platformer developed by Beam Software, of course based on the classic 1940s cartoon of Tom and Jerry. This is one of the few Super Nintendo games I actually don't know a lot about. Usually I've either got the game, played it, seen a review on it on YouTube somewhere. This is one of them ones that I've never really delved into, so I don't know much about it other than it being very much of the era and it being a platform game featuring the legendary Tom and Jerry. The condition on this is really nice really nice for someone that isn't a condition collector this is like right up there this side does have a bend in it that is a crease on this side but that's about it there's a tiny bit of dog dog ear in there is that what they call it on the flaps otherwise this is in really nice condition and it feels like there's a weight in here it feels like there's a manual this feels like a cex win i'm gonna be honest right let's open it up again look you can see the tabs are in nice condition there's the standard sort of opening that you get there when you always open the game on the same side. You get that like crease in there. That's just you can't you can't sort of stop that if you want to actually open your games and play them. Um, right. Oh, okay, okay. So this is where it gets interesting. I thought this was a manual. What we've actually got: Club Nintendo card, the sort of consumer information that I think you got with pretty much every Super Nintendo game back in the day. These are always nice to add to your more expensive titles if you don't already have them. The cartridge itself, really nice condition. This looks like it's barely been used. There's no yellowing on this at all. That label is really nice. But what you will see, and again, this looks like a, um, an original inlay, which again is in really nice condition. It's very rare you see these that are this sturdy. No manual. So yet again, CEX have sent games without a manual. 
uh, which seems to be a bit of a trend. However, remember this, start the video, this is my insurance policy. I think we all know what's inside here, right? There it is, Tom and Jerry manual. Uh, a, a young gentleman was kind enough to give me a few Super Nintendo manuals at a toy fair a few weeks back. If you're watching, make sure you hit up in the comments. I will be seeing you soon, hopefully, to thank you again in person. But yeah, this is very much my tactic now when it comes to ordering games through CX Online. If you're going to order through CX, don't expect a manual. Obviously, hope for the best. But if you can get manuals elsewhere and then maybe wait for the games to come in stock, because that's what I did. I saw this manual, I had it, and then I remember saving the alert for this game, thinking when it comes in stock, it doesn't matter if I have a manual or not, because I can complete it myself. So right now, I'm sitting on what is, in my opinion, a very nice box condition. Tom and Jerry. Um, this game is somewhat uncommon. I can't remember exactly what it's selling for, but I think this is a good price or I wouldn't have bought it. So I'll be putting information up on the screen now of what sort of eBay are looking at for this game. So what I'm now going to do is play this game and then I'll be giving you guys a very short review at the end of the video. Make sure you check it out Wednesday's video guys on the 3.0 update. I've done a project which has taken a lot of time, a lot of effort, but I am delighted with the results and I can't wait to share the process and the end result with you guys. So yeah, Wednesday, 3.45 as always, don't miss that. I'll be giving you guys a short review now, but as always, play your games, keep it retro. See you real soon. Okay guys, so this is Tom and Jerry on the Super Nintendo. Um, as you would expect, it's a sort of standard platformer with all the tropes that go with 90s platform games. It doesn't seem overly relevant to Tom and Jerry, to be honest. Uh, obviously they've got a lot um, of catalogue to delve into, but yeah, it seems to be a lot of random, it looks like it could be any game really inserted here, you could put any character in Jerry's place and it would pretty much be that. I do like the art style, as you would expect from that era, nice sprites, nice colours on the Super Nintendo, the music is very generic, the gameplay is very generic, um, yeah, would I recommend it? Unless you're a hardened Tom and Jerry. Uh, or a Super Nintendo collector like myself, I would not rush out and buy this one at £55. But, as a collector, and the condition it's in, I'm going to consider this a CEX win. Thank you guys, I appreciate you watching. Let me know if you're enjoying these sort of uh, CEX lotteries that we're doing. Um, as I say, it's just nice bonus content to get out on a Sunday morning for you people. So let me know if you enjoy it. Thanks again for watching. And uh, yeah, don't miss Wednesday's episode, um, as I keep saying. Uh, I've been working on something very special and I'm very excited to share it with you all. In a bit! Retro Ghetto! <laughs>